We can approximate binomial distributions as a normal distribution when the probability is approximately equal to 0.5 and the number of trials is fairly large. So normally we represent binomial distribution as writing as x is binomially distributed with the total number of trials n and the probability p. We are coding this data to make it into a normal to make it fit a normal distribution by using the mean is equal to n times p and the standard deviation is the square root of n times p times 1 minus p and often instead of 1 minus p we just use q is equal to 1 minus p and once we have coded the data and we want to use um, the normal distribution as the equivalent we're gonna change this letter x and we're going to use a different letter. It's quite common to use y as a random variable. And this is normally distributed with the mean np and the variance npq. We also have to apply a continuity correction because the binomial is representing discrete variables and the normal distribution is representing continuous variables. For Continuous variables, we working on the area under the graph, so we don't calculate specific values where it says probability of x equal to 8, because 8 is only representing a point, which doesn't have a width. So therefore, we're going to have to take the lower bound and the upper bound of 8. So using a number line, it's quite easy to see. So 8 is what we need, and... To take the lower band of 8, that's 7.5, and the upper band of 8 is 8.5. And these are the numbers that we are going to have to use. We also have to remember that we have changed the letter, we have coded the data, so we're going to use the letter Y instead of X, or whatever your letter of choice is. For the next one, it says x is being less than or equal to 8. So then we have 8 and everything less than. And for this one, we have to take only the upper band, which is 8.5, and everything else below. So then we will have probability of y being less than or equal to 8.5. For the next one, Notice that the 4 is not included, but everything above 4 is going to be included. So we can change this into the first number that is included is 5 and everything above it. So using the continuity correction, we will need the lower band only. Because everything else is included above it. So the probability of y is larger or equal to 4.5 and finally we have the range between 1 and 7 the 1 is included the 7 is not included so we are going to change this into 1 to 6 6 is the first number below 7 that is included so we take the lower band of 1 which is 0 0.5, and the upper bound of 6, which is 6.5. And now we have a range of values between 0 0.5 and 6.5 after we have applied the continuity correction. Let's see how we can solve a problem using the skills that we have just learned. For a particular type of flower bulbs, 55% will produce yellow flowers. A random sample of 80 bulbs is planted, and we have to calculate the actual probability that there are exactly 50 flowers. So this sounds like a binomial distribution. So we represent x, the number of flower bulbs, and this is binomially distributed with the number of trials, 80, and the probability 55%, and we represent that with 0.55. And we need to work out the probability that x is equal to 50 and we're using the binomial formula so n and r so 
or n is 80 or the number of choices or number of successes is 50 times the probability of success to the power of the number of successes which in our case is 50 times 0 0.45 the probability of it not happening to the power of not happening we can also write this as 80 choose 50 times 0 0.55 to the power of 50 times 0 0.45 to the power of 30 and this will give us 0 0.0365 to three significant figures for point b we have to use the normal approximation so we're going to have to use the coding mean is equal to n times p and that is 80 times 0 0.55 and this is equal to 44 and the standard deviation is the square root of npq this is equal to the square root of 80 times 0 0.55 times 0 0.45 this is equal to square root of 19.8 and now we have the coded data y the random variable y is normally distributed with the mean of 44 and variance 19.8 and remember that the variance is the standard deviation squared and now we have to apply the continuity correction to the probability of y being between 49.5 and 50.5 going to use the function on the calculator normal CD and this is the normal cumulative distribution and we have the lower we have the lower bound equals 49.5 upper bound 50.5 the mean 44 standard deviation square root of 19.8 and remember to square root the variance and that will give you 0 0.0362 to three significant figures so this is the simplest way And finally, part C has determined the percentage error of the normal approximation for 50 flowers. So we need to find the difference between the actual figure, which is 0 0.0365, and the estimated, which is 0 0.0362. And we write that all over 0 0.0365, and then times it by 100. And this will give us 0.82%, which is fairly accurate. It's even less than 1%. There's an exam question from 2004. And it says that the discrete random variable x is distributed binomially with n and p. Write down the value of p that will give you the most accurate estimate when approximating the binomial distribution by a normal distribution so that value of p has to be 0 0.5 that's gonna give us the most accurate approximation and for part b give a reason to support your value that is because the binomial distribution is symmetrical binomial distribution is symmetrical and finally, point C. Notice it says it's a seven more question that used to be in the past because we had to apply the standardized normal function. We had to use the Z function, 
but now um, our calculator is um, pretty advanced so we can get um, quick answers just by typing in the values so this actually would be a much lower mark question you will need to know how to code the data so your mean is NP which is 200 times 0 0.48 that is 96 and we have to work out the standard deviation which is the square root of npq and that is 200 times 0 0.48 times 0 0.52 which is square root of 49.92 we have to also apply the continuity correction so, and also remember to use a different letter for the coded data. So I'm going to use Y is normally distributed with a mean of 96 and variance 49.92. Remember the variance is the standard deviation squared. We need to uh, change this range, which is applied for discrete values when we are talking about binomial distribution. So we are going to have to change this. So I'm going to transform this to 90 and uh, to 104, which is the first number below 105 that is included. And now we're going to apply the continuity correction for it. So we will need the lower band of 90, which is 89.5, and the upper band of 104, which is 104.5. So we have 89.5 all the way to 104.5. And we're going to use the normal CD function on our calculator. We have the lower band 89.5, upper band 104.5, mean 96, standard deviation, square root of 49.92. And then we have 0 0.707 to three significant figures. And this is the final answer.